Welcome, my talk is called Lube Up Your Laka. I am not a professional chef, so I do actually, I don't know if lube and lakas go well together, but as a sex talk to her, I do know that lube and your genital regions do work well. So with that, we're gonna talk about sex. Specifically, how to have great sex, whether you're meeting for the first time this evening, or you've been married for 25 years. Sex follows the standard script that Hollywood paints. You make eye contact across the room, hello, hello. You take them home, you have a nice mezuzah on the door because you're a good Jew. You sit on the couch, you have a little cuddling and kissing for people who are married 25 years, maybe it starts there. You go in the bedroom, the clothes come off, the lights go off, the mouths go shut because we never talk about sex. It's easier to have it than talk about it. Then we crawl into bed, and we make a little love, and we do a little dance. Sometimes we have some genital caress, sometimes we have some oral sex. We definitely have intercourse. And 10 minutes later, we have the orgasm. And if you're following the Hollywood script, you have it at the same time as your partner. And that is our script. It kind of follows this linear model where you ascend a stairwell of certain activities in a regulated order to the very top of your goal, of your simultaneous orgasm. And that is our goal-oriented model of sex. But that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure to follow. And sometimes we're not up for stage. We get a little stage fright. And, you know, it, takes, it makes sex less fun because it's a performance and there's a lot of pressure to adhere to a model. So I want to take this goal-oriented model of sex and I want to put it in the garbage can. And I want to invite you to see sex in a very different light. I want you to embrace pleasure. My passion is pleasure, that's why I do what I do. And I want you to invite cheesecake. You know when you go shopping and you see that variety pack of cheesecake with the different flavors? That's what this is. Each piece is a different sexual activity. And each piece is mutually exclusive of the other. So one piece can be kissing, another can be intercourse, another can be oral sex, and you can have whatever piece you want with your partner at whatever speed. It's about tasting the flavors and enjoying the journey, not having a goal, not necessarily having to be up for the stage, not necessarily having to make a goal work. Eight nights of Hanukkah, let's do eight activities real quick. This is sensual massage, not deep tissue, not Swedish, no genitals involved, just your bodies, use some lube, it helps. Sensual massage. Night two, solo date. So if you don't take anyone home tonight, that's okay. And if you take someone home tonight, it's really good to practice self-pleasure because you want to explore your own body and know what you're sharing with another person. So. How you have hands, you have toys, genital caress, great piece of pie, yes Bill Clinton, our hands and our tongues do count as sex. And this is a nice safe form of sex, no STDs, no pregnancy, just a nice genital caress. Night four, kissing dates, this is my favorite. You're not allowed to have intercourse, you're not allowed to take your clothes off, you're only allowed to kiss. So either drive up to the top of Flagstaff or sit on your couch, but kiss head to toe and just make one night a kissing date. It's a very fun activity. Night five, fun with food. Pull out the whipped cream, pull out the Hershey syrup. Again, if you're not taking anybody home tonight, you can go have fun with your fruit basket. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Night six, if you do like intercourse, there's eight nights of Hanukkah. Play with eight different positions. You can do all eight on one night, or you can spread out your positions through the eight nights of Hanukkah. So again, have fun with it. Night seven, find an exotic place to have sex, whether you choose the beach, the ski slope, the car, there's some bathrooms in the back, we have an intermission soon, you can go make out with your partner there. Find an exotic place. And night eight, have some fun with lube. I don't care if you're 21 or 81, I don't care if you're man or woman, married, single, committed, lube needs to be your best friend by your bedside. And at the end of the day, guys, the message is pleasure. Don't worry, be, worry about being on stage. Don't worry about making sex a performance where you have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. Make it about the cheesecake. Make it about the journey of pleasure.
And with that, I'm Dr. Jenny Schuyler, and we have an intermission with Jeff Goody.